Hello, my name is Nathan Crosby, and I'm reading for the role of Egan. You realize we're nothing but accessories tonight, right? Couple of talking handbags. You got a problem with that? Not exactly at this moment. <laughs> Clear the check and you can call me Louis Vuitton all night. Anyone not in the finale needs to move their asses now. I think he means us, he. Definitely us. Move, move, move. <laughs> Afraid you're too ugly to get laid? At least you got Vivian to fall back on. Literally. Yo, Egan, hook me up. I know you're not asking me what you seem to be asking me right here at the front of this club. I know you can't be that dumb. Come on, dude. It's party time. Looks like you started the party too early. I'll get you back at the residence. Thanks, man. New design you're working on? This is the Calvin Klein dress. Hand beaded. Couture. Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> I thought the I thought the suit you had me in was nice. It is. I was thinking you might like to wear it to the purple party tonight. As my companion, of course. Are you asking me on a date? Yeah, you make it sound like a death sentence. Who knows? You might even enjoy yourself. I'm not sure what to say. There are only two answers, darling. I had my eye on you for a while now. I can give you things most models only dream of. Access to designers and magazine editors, beautiful clothes. The arrangement is simple. You take care of my needs, I'll take care of yours. Vivian, I'm flattered, but I can't. I don't have to. I have a career. Do you? I mean, sure, you book a few jobs here and there. But you're never going to go be quiet. Another year and you'll end up taking a day job. Or being dropped by your agency and quitting altogether. I can make this city a lot more enjoyable for you. And I know you can do the same for me. I'm sorry, I... I can't do that. And your choice. Hang up the suit before you leave. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to talk to you. Well, then call my office and make an appointment. It can't wait. I'm sorry, love. It's urgent. I don't want to be rude to Jeffrey. Then allow me. Move, or I'll rip your bloody arm off. Take a walk, Jeffrey. I've been thinking about your offer. Well, the position's been filled. Oh, by Jeffrey? I wouldn't have walked away from you just now. No. You walked away from me earlier. So crawling back now... Send Jeffrey home. 